Hey, I promised I was going to take you to um, the Carl Perkins Bass Classic that we did last year. Now, we're going to talk our way through it because this is just excerpts to show you what actually goes on. So if you don't mind, Andrew, let's get it started and take them to Parsons, Tennessee, Paraville Marina. This is what you can expect at the Carl Perkins Bass Classic. Got registration right there, Rick, and, and a lot of people just came in there. Look at all the people inside the marina. It was a little foggy that morning. It was that morning. And we were all getting ready to register and get our numbers, boat numbers, and just generally, we're just checking out the competition. <laughs> well, the one thing I want to point out there, uh, the Parable Marina provides breakfast. Free, they sure did. They free sure breakfast did. both free mornings. Breakfast. For that's the right. Coffee and juice, and and that's a they're a great they're a great host for this uh, tournament. And then we had a little fog, and so everybody's just sitting around, and as you can tell, it started clearing off, and then we we everybody has a live well check, and then uh, of course we we had the weigh in, and I want to say. If you've never been to a BASS tournament or Elite Series tournament or anything like that, this was about as close as it gets to, to that kind of climate. It is. And um, you take about 15 steps and off the stage. I, and I'm telling you. Fish were treated really, really well, relieved live. But look at the smile on that kid's face yeah, right there. Yeah. Now, he knew he did good. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice fish. There was some real nice fish yeah. caught. Uh, it's a great time of year. Um, a little one. Right. It's the it's kind of you know latter part of summer, first part. Of, now here's the kids fishing the in fish, the pond. That's the rodeo. The that's the rodeo. rodeo. Yes, sir. And there's somebody with a bobber upside uh, down. Yeah. <laughs> all right, and then you had all kinds of bands playing. We had some live uh, entertainment. Live entertainment. Uh, they, uh, and it was great. Auction. Uh, I, I love the auction. The auction was great. I didn't great. get what I wanted, but that's okay. <laughs> well, you, we can make sure you get that. I heard uh, it. Uh, there's the fishing rodeo. But we had. Uh, there were several kids there, lots there of kids, kids yeah. lots of kids, and their parents, grandparents, and everything came and enjoyed the day just sitting there watching the kids uh, fish, uh, helping them take off. Now, we got I, Rocky I, the Squirrel. I, I don't know where he came from, but he <laughs> showed up. I, <laughs> got a pumpkin decorating a, contest. Yeah, there that, was all kinds of activities for children to do. Okay. And it was from eight o'clock in the morning all day long. All day long. And yeah. it was just great. They had many prizes were given away. There's little Miss Hannah. Uh, well, a big, huge aquarium. I forgot about the big yeah, aquarium. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's fifty foot aquarium and it's uh, full of fish off Tennessee River. All types uh, of fish. Yeah. It. Uh, There's Miss Hannah with Southern Woods of Water. She's one of our. Uh, pro staffers and and she got in on the action. Uh, so I, I believe she caught a pretty nice catfish yeah. that day. And so uh, so it was a great to see all these young. I cannot get over this smile. Watch this. That kid <laughs> knows he's in there. <laughs> we, we're having more and more father son and even daughter mm -hmm. daughter son fishing in this tournament. That's, and you know this this tournament's geared toward the family. That's that's the whole atmosphere for it. And, and you have something for everybody to do. That's that's the whole purpose of it. Get get the family out, get them together, bonding time, and enjoy fishing. Well, I, you know, Rick, uh, the whole crew, your whole crew needs to be applauded for that because a lot of tournaments are just, you know, the boaters come in, they register, they go out. Uh, people are just, you know, just kind of tending the the the, the boat ramp there till it's time for the weigh-in. That's right. And there's no activities for anybody to do. 
but yours is different. You had seminars, live bands, live entertainment, cooking going on. There was all kinds oh, they, of eatery there. Great food. Great I mean, food. Catfish is just it's second to none. We had yeah. Gwen up there telling jokes and yeah, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, she's trying to get she's trying to get her way to Branson. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but Oh, you know, we got Nick on here, and Officer Nick, I, I mean, TWRA does a, a fantastic job. They really do. And, and they always are willing to step up to the plate anytime they're needed. But you guys are, are bringing in uh, several pounds of fish for this tournament, right? We are. We've got about a half-acre pond right there on the fairgrounds where everything's going on. The weigh-in's going to be there. And uh, we're bringing in a bunch of catfish to stock the pond a couple of days beforehand. And uh, we all know that, you know, the future of wildlife management, the future of these bass tournaments, just like the Carl Perkins that's right. tournament, uh, that's why we're seeing so many uh, new father-son and father-daughter groups. They're coming in. I guarantee you they're starting at this kid's fishing rodeo, and they're saying, Dad, I want to fish with you mm -hmm. on the big bass classic. Well, I got to speak to Ryan Lackey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, and you know Ryan and his dad have, have been doing things with you for a long, long time. Ever since we and, started. Yeah. And Ryan, you know, went to college and was on the college bass fishing team. And, for UT Martin. Uh, for yeah. UT Martin, yeah. that's right. And, you know, he uh, he and I talked the other day. There, There's bass fishing for high schools now. There is. That's, uh, that's huge. It's getting bigger, yep. I'm telling you. It, you know, why didn't they have it when you and I were going to I don't school? Know. You know, we, we we were lucky to get a flat bottom boat <laughs> in the backwater of a pump station. Yeah, you know, but I, we had to usually drag it a half yeah, a mile. That's exactly right, with no motor. So. No motor. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, it, it's a golden opportunity for for guys like Jackson here. This is, I mean, it's just like, oh my goodness, the the sky's the limit. Well, let, let me tell you about uh, not only people like Jackson, which I'm fond of, but right. you know, you got granddaddies and uncles and, and fathers taking these kids fishing. That's what this is all about. That's what it's about. And, you know, his granddaddy takes him fishing and uh, brought him in when he was six years old. And uh, and now he, you know, he I'll let him tell his own story, but he, he thinks a lot of the Carl Perkins tournament and I bet he will always fish it. Oh, yeah. And so, uh, you know, that's what we try to, we want to we want to build that relationship with these kids and let them know that there's something they can do. And they can do something with the family and enjoy it. And and, and there's people there that love them and care for them and, and you know, and uh, got them in the right direction. Well, I want to go one step further. There, there's one thing that y'all do superior than anybody else. And I'm going to tell you right now what it is. And I've been to all, almost all of your tournaments. It's the appreciation you have for the youngsters and everybody that comes to the tournament. There is a, there is a true appreciation for people coming there and having a good time. And you make them, everybody feel welcome. And that's what I want to convey to everybody. If you don't have anything going on, or if you can change your plans, please, October 10th is the day it starts. That's a Friday. That's right. It's a Friday and a Saturday. We want you to go to church on Sunday. But Friday and Saturday, we'd love for you to be a part of the Carl Perkins Bass Classic, the eighth annual. It's easy. It's easy to get it hold of. You know where your money is going ahead of time. You may be the one that looks up and catches that thousand dollar fish. There you go. I have seen it in my life. People with flat bottom boats walk away with the grand prize. You know, and here we are with fifty thousand dollar bass boats, and somebody in a in a aluminum boat wins. And it can be that easy. I, I don't know if you notice, because I see all the boats that come through. They are fifty thousand dollar rigs, and they are flat bottom. Nine there is. In the, I mean, they're all, all the, around the whole gamut. Well, so. you know, they might not go as far, but there's fish in Cuba Landing and, and, and uh, uh, Crooked Creek and all oh, yeah. those creeks around there and the Beach River and all that. And those people just whoop right in there and just go oh, to yeah. fishing. You know, you can, I just love the fact that it's for everybody yeah. to be a part of. And what I want to say is Rick Wood and the crew makes everybody feel appreciated and I want to thank you that's there's not many tournaments like that brother I uh, thank you for you all right well I tell you what we've got to go now and do our product of the week and so are we ready I'm gonna show you I want to show you the product of the week here this is just sent to me from Costa Del Mar 
These are are camouflage. Now, now, Officer Looper, would you like a set of? I'd love to take those <laughs> home with me tonight. You know, it's even got. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's got the hunter orange over here I on the side. Yeah. Now, I don't think this is 500 square inches. I don't think we can get by with this. Not quite. But uh, it is there. It is a, a, a hunting statement that we're making here, or Costa Del Mar's making. This is Team Riggle Tree camouflage with the hunter orange on on the insignia. But awesome, awesome sunglasses, polarized. You can wear them duck hunting, uh, fishing. Jackson, we may, you may be seeing me out there next week wearing these, fishing, I'm guaranteeing. And uh, so it's just an awesome, awesome thing. You can get them at Bass Pro Shops, Opry Mills. Go to Bass Pro Shops, Opry Mills, and ask them, hey, what about those camouflage sunglasses? I need a pair of those. Hook you up right there, Bass Pro Shops, Opry Mills. Hey, we're gonna take another break. When we come back, we're going to open up the phone lines here. Be ready to call 737-7767 for any of your questions you might have. And we're going to tell you then how you can be a part of the Carl Parkins Bass Classic. Hurry back to more Southern Woods and Water.